Alright, so this is obviously the first video of restoring this. I am going to tell you a little bit about this and uh, how I got it and some of my other projects. So, this is a 1990s Ferris walk behind with a Kawasaki FC 420 and as you can see I kind of threw things up here I was kind of out in a hurry I was cutting out the rust out of it so I could patch it and I was grinding and I got a piece of metal in my eye and apparently have two minor lacerations in my eye so that was interesting so I've been just working on this a little um, this is one of my older projects it's a 1980s Roper garden tractor used to have a 18 horsepower Briggs and Stratton on it but it shit the bed it doesn't run I tried rebuilding it and haven't really had the time to uh, try and start it or anything so don't mind that that's a long story it needs a new seat everything works okay it's it tows pretty good that's an eight horsepower snowblower engine um, I had to cut off the main shaft and put a big pulley on the secondary shaft because the main shaft spun the wrong way so I just did that and then I've been cutting up the mower deck from that tractor and been making a couple pieces for that right there so I actually got this for free my mom's friend didn't want any more and I said fuck it I'll go get it so I got it and it runs pretty good I took it all apart and cleaned it pretty good and it starts and stuff and comes with a bagger my garage is kind of a mess because I had to leave in a hurry like I said so yeah everything's pretty solid on this except for the mower deck which I did get all the rust cut out this is still solid I'm gonna weld that right to the uh, patch um, the swivel wheels were or the casters were seized right up so I took those apart and put some thin snowblower winter motor oil in there and got that pretty good and same with this one I've mowed a couple times with it um, works pretty good and that's the other rot spot right there sharpen the blades and everything the decks pretty solid other than those few places my plans are to wash it all up after I've got that patch in and then uh, grind off all the red and repaint it red get some new decals for it and you know just make it look nice again so this is how it works that's the uh, safety lever for the engagement and there's brakes on each side right there same with that and then these little switches hold the brakes in place so now it's released and then it's engaged again um, I'm gonna try and find another one of those rubber pieces to put on there and so so far what I've done besides cutting off the deck a little cutting the rust out is I've cleaned out the engine cleaned out the gas tank had a old gas in it and this is the uh, neutral start switch so if it's in any gear except for neutral it won't start but that switch doesn't work so I had to just unplug it and now it starts pretty good so we'll do a little bit of a fire up can't really move it anywhere because it's kind of out of service right now but it should start up pretty good if I turn the key on
so it runs pretty good. Um, planning on getting either a new one of those types of tires or just two brand new ones. That one's cracked a bit, and uh, so I want to make this thing look really nice. Get some new belts for it or clean those ones up. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research, try and find some pretty close matching red paint because the uh, real paint for it is like $20 for a can and I know I'm gonna need more than just one can so yeah that's pretty much it so then there's this I'll just take that out real quick that I was uh, kind of having a little fun just driving around the yard and pick that up somehow so uh, that can just go back there so this I've ground off all the red this used to be red ground it all off um, tried to kind of get the black and blue look I didn't mean to get that blue but you know whatever I uh, taped it all up but obviously some tape didn't hold up too well so it has a little bit of slop in the steering, but it's pretty good. Um, there's six gears. There's high, low. Um, there's one, two, or sorry, one reverse, two, and then three. But I don't have the clutch in, so it won't go. Um, parking brake is that little knob right here. Um, the plow is pretty jiffy dicked on it the original holes didn't really match up to anything it just like it, it wouldn't have bolted up so I just drilled four holes and put some bolts in and one fell out obviously so then I made my own pin because it was missing a lot this used to have a little lever with a spring that came to somewhere and so that didn't really come with it so I just made my own and then I just set it up the best I could with what I got so I grabbed a rubber bungee cord and wrapped that around that works pretty good on light stuff and then got some cable and ran that all the way through this so it wouldn't rub on that or this area. I had to re-weld that on nice and bubble gummed but you know what it holds so got that through there and then it goes up to this hook right here it's doing pretty good so far so that works pretty good goes up and down so that works pretty good so yeah that's just about it it can have a three-point hitch on it it has the uh, two areas right there to mount in it has the face plate for the uh, sleeve hitch or whatever the fuck they call it um, yeah that gas tank is full of water and shit and I just didn't want to worry about it so uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this I did catch it on fire at one point so the uh, welds are terrible but they hold and that is all that matters I ran it about two months with these welds these ones are a bit better they aren't perfect but they hold pretty good so these ones are when I didn't know how to set up a welder these are after I was dialing and everything so those, those ones came out pretty good um, those ones came out pretty good too uh, but yeah um, this broke off and this broke off so it was moving up and down when the engine was running and so the uh, carburetor float would bang on the floor of the bowl and then it would uh, yeah 
the float and uh, it would puncture the float and then it would overflow with gasoline and it'd start pouring everywhere so um, at one point I shut it off and I didn't have this guard on so the exhaust must have backfired or something and caught this whole thing on fire as you can see there's burnt wires and it's just a shit show up there but what I have for the new gas line is down in there you probably can't see but I have a piece of aluminum uh, hose right there that goes all the way through the engine it took me a few minutes just to uh, feed that through the old gas line hole but I got it uh, I'm not sure what that goes to but it's not important because it runs so I ended up having I went through two carburetors with this thing I'm on my third so you know just beating the piss out of it and that thing came off so I just put a fuck ton of uh, pop rivets in it holds it pretty good so we'll give this a start the primer is down here right there just have that hooked up with a little tiny hose and then the choke so switch hands that runs pretty good and what you heard bang is these uh, notches right there on that parking brake need to be filed down and regrooved and everything so they keep just popping right out which is kind of annoying but you know what can you do um, you can see it looks like a saw they're supposed to grab onto a little plate right inside there you can see the teeth come out so I need to file those down a little more. So that's the cutoff shaft. And that's just about it. We got some good amperage even though there's no battery. But that's pretty much it for projects. Uh, I have a snow blower over there that's taken apart. Stole the carburetor off of that to uh, put on that, but that also got damaged from shaking so much. So, yeah, this thing works pretty good, and as soon as I get that welded on there, it'll be even better. So, what do you think I should do this? Should I get new caster wheels? and tires or should I just clean them up let me know and uh, what do you think about the tires um, the rims don't look too bad I might just clean those up but other than that everything looks pretty solid so I'll show you that piece that I'm gonna put right there that should cover most of it I just went to work and use the torches to heat it up and bend it so it used to be at a uh, more of a 80 degree angle so I over bent it just in case um, that also was a little bit it was uh, curved up like a U so this little lip right here was curved up so that should cover it pretty well. Should go on right like that. And that covers up those rust holes. And then I'll just take the access off of that and just push it right up. And then I'll get, um, might even just cut off this piece right here, depending on how far the rust goes. Oh, maybe not. Um, and then 
I'll fill that hole and then I'll take this right here that's some more rot that I just noticed so I need to fix that too um, other than that it's pretty solid it's a pretty solid deck um, wasn't taken care of and it's an old mower I mean what do you expect so yeah that covers most of it so that's just about it I think I'm gonna leave it here right now so I'll be back I might actually be doing something or it'll be an update depending on if I can get a camera set up or whatever so I'll just leave it here all right talk to you later